All right, so earlier we told you that all party meeting is going on at the moment. Political leaders have already started arriving, including the opposition leader as well. Remember, our reporter Payal Mehta also told us that uh, Defence Minister Rajnath Singh has already arrived for the meeting. Kiran Rajiju has called upon this meeting because the session is going to start from tomorrow. In order to understand the key issues which are likely to be touched upon by the opposition leaders as well and to have a constructive discussion over all the matters. Remember, as our sources also told us, that uh, BJP, in fact, the NDA government is planning to table six bills this time around and in fact we are bringing you the live visuals straight from all party meet venue at this point of time uh, which is slated to happen in a short while from now we'll bring you more details emerging straight from the ground as and when we get connected by a reporter present at the location but as of now to walk you through a couple of details emerging from the ground is that the government has convened an all party meeting today itself of the budget session of the parliament now parliamentary affairs minister Kiran Rijiju as we spoke of earlier has convened this particular meeting of the floor leaders of political parties in parliament to understand the key issues which are likely to be raised throughout this session which is going to be of 19 sittings till August 12th starting from tomorrow of course. Now the reason cited by Trinamool Congress's sources uh, to boycott this particular meeting is that they are celebrating uh, the Martyrs Day today hence they will not be in attendance in this particular all party meeting but we are witnessing a couple of opposition leaders arriving for the all party meet venue as well. We have Payal Mehta joining us back on the broadcast straight from uh, the all party meet venue. Pile, please tell us who all have arrived already. Couple of key faces and interesting faces uh, from the opposition as well, please. Uh, well, yes, uh, you have seen Gaurav Gogoi, who is the deputy leader of the Lok Sabha as far as the Congress party is concerned. Uh, he is there, there is of course K. Suresh, there is Jairam Ramesh and Pramod Tiwari. That forms the Congress block as far as uh, both houses are concerned. You have Chirak Pasan, who is a key ally. Uh, we have also seen a number of leaders, including Asadul Novesi, who has already arrived. Opposition leaders also include Amol Kohle from the uh, from the NCP party of the of the Sharad Pawar side, he's arrived. Shikan Shinde represents the Shiv Sena uh, party of, from the from the Shinde group. He's also arrived. So a lot of leaders have arrived. In fact, all the leaders have arrived except PMC because PMC had already told the leaders over here that they would not be able to be present over there, given the uh, fact that they have a meeting, uh, you know, in the in the state of Bengal themselves. So all the leaders have arrived. There's Rajna Singh who's who's, head, who's chairing the meeting because he's the deputy leader of the Lok Sabha. And alongside with him is Kiran Rijiju on one side and JP Nadal is also the party's national president. But uh, however, he's currently also the leader of the House of Rajas of the meeting has currently gotten underway. We'll have to just wait and see what the outcome really will be of this meeting, given the fact that, you know, like I said, Sakshi, it's a customary meeting which takes place ahead of the start of every session as well. But, you know, this time around, the opposition is a much more stronger unit. You have 37 MPs from Samajwadi party alone. In the Lok Sabha, you have 99 MPs to the Congress party. In comparison to what you saw, much weaker side in the 2019 Lok Sabha. So obviously, the government is also aware of the fact that the opposition is going to come gunning at them when it comes to crucial bills, etc. So obviously, we'll have to just wait and see if they can uh, drop a middle path. But like I said, that you know, opposition will tell the government that they want discussion on multiple issues, including including the issue of need, including the issue of uh, what's happening in Jammu Kashmir, etc. But depends on what really is allowed because eventually the decision lies with the chair. And in this case, the Lok Sabha speaker and the Rajya Sabha chairman can decide what really can happen. Well, you know, interestingly, you touched upon the position of Samajwadi Party this time around. In fact, uh, what about their representation in this particular meet? Because we are learning that Akhilesh Yadav, the party supremo, is going to be there in Kolkata alongside Mamata Banerjee to, you know, sort of give out this message of unity within the opposition bloc today itself. Yes, there's no Akhilesh Yadav in this meeting, given the fact that he's already committed to go to Mamata Banerjee in Bengal. But there's Ram Kopal Yadav, a senior leader of the party. Mm -hmm. I think he's in attendance as far as the all party meeting is concerned. But apart from that, we can I can also see Mr. Chandrasekhar walk in over here. He's a one man, man MP from his party who's expected to raise a lot of crucial issue concerning the public at large, especially the youth. So he's just walking into the all party meetings, except for the TMC, we've seen most of the uh, parties really come in for this meeting. Right. And Pail, if we were to compare uh, the situation this time around, we have already told our viewers that this time the opposition is in a better position compared to the last previous years. Now, if we were to analyse the performance as well as the ruckus inside the parliament when the first session after 17th Lok Sabha happened, if we were to compare all the topics that opposition is likely to raise, is there any change in that, any new additions of the topics that they are going to raise this time around? 
Well, the opposition parties want to raise a number of issues. They feel that the government has been completely silent on the economic situation in the country. The fact that inflation has hit the common man's pocket, no answers have been gotten there from the government. The fact that overreach of the central agencies has happened on the opposition parties. In fact, two chief ministers uh, till recent were also in jail. Hemant Soren has just managed to get out. Hmm. Arvind Kejriwal is still waiting to see his fortune being sealed because that is going to be one issue that definitely Sanjay Singh, who is president of the party, will also want the government to seek answers from what's happening in the education system. Not just a need issue, but the fact that the, uh, you know, the the uh, the chief the, who recently uh, resigned right now out of pressure also is what the opposition feels. That the education system is in a complete mess, so they will seek answers from the government on every issue. At this point in time, customary the way it goes, the government is going to tell the opposition party and seek their cooperation, saying that allow parliament to function smoothly and they're not running in front of any answers, they're willing to give you all the answers as well. But the way this opposition has conducted itself is very different from what we saw in 2019. Hmm. It's a much stronger opposition. Like I said, they have Boyan, they have Bo they are Boyan, a lot, lot of young leaders have, elect have been elected for the first time, especially in the Samadari party, so you can expect a lot of fireworks to come in from there. And the trailer was really there from the first session to really see because the way in which Rahul Gandhi and company really continued to spout slogans throughout the Prime Minister's speech when he was speaking on the motion of thanks, it was something that everybody was not really surprised to see. <coughs> Definitely, definitely, Payal. Uh, the trailer has already been shown to us. We'll have to see what exactly transpires once the session begins from tomorrow in all those 19 sittings. We will bring all the latest updates uh, to all of our viewers.